to an 8 News exclusive. A local high schooler who died from an unusual disease lives on after donating his organs. And 8 News reporter Nate Eaton's now here with a twist for us in the story. Yeah, well, and this is a story where the gift of life has literally brought together two strangers. But those strangers happen to live within feet of each other, and they learn about one another in an incredible way. If we can't have our son, then I want him to help other people. Tyler Davidson was the type of teenager every parent wants. Everything he did, he did well. The Midlothian High School student played for the Richmond Kickers, spent time on his Xbox, and was loved by everyone. He was just an amazing young man. Four months ago, out of the blue, the healthy 15-year-old started having seizures. Within the first three days, he had like 15 or 16. Tyler was diagnosed with an unusual type of epilepsy. It's very rare less than 1% worldwide. Within hours, he was in the hospital. Within days, he was in a coma. Within weeks, he was gone. And they pretty much said that, you know, he had some brain apathy, apathy and he was not gonna make it. Tyler passed away February 25th as his family gave his eulogy. We got the call at 3 a.m. in the morning. Alvaroy Henderson received one of his kidneys. It was a lot to process to know that this 15-year-old had died probably two hours before I got the call. Alvaroy and his wife Carol had been waiting three years for the right match and Tyler's was perfect. Normally it takes two to three days for the kidney to respond. But by 5.30, Tyler's kidney had responded. What the Hendersons didn't know is that Tyler lived right here at their own apartment complex, just one building away. It was the manager of the apartments that made the connection. It gives me goosebumps every time we talk about it. Christy Fisher knew both families and knew they each had challenges. A few days after Alroy's transplant, Carol stopped by the office. The subject of the transplant came up and Christy asked me, did I know the donor? She mentioned that they knew it had come from a 15-year-old boy, and that was about all they knew. Christy immediately thought of Tyler. She gave me a call one day. She says, well, I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but I think I know who has one of your Tyler's kidneys. Ken was stunned, but after doing some research, confirmed Alroy did indeed have Tyler's kidney. All we received was first name, the age, and what he did you know, for a living. So then I looked at hey, what I received from here and that. I'm like, this is exactly who it is. A few weeks later, Ken and the Hendersons decided to meet. Meeting him was just like overwhelming because you still had someone that lost someone. Within a minute or so, it felt like we knew each other for the past 10 to 20 years. As neighbors, but more importantly, friends, Ken and the Davidsons now see each other a few times a week. It can be difficult. Is there a moment where you think he should be here and I shouldn't? A lot of times. But they talk about Tyler. So there's no question in my mind that, that God was totally in control. His life. Thank you is not big enough. And how he continues to live. We'd rather have him back here, but it's nice to know that he's really helped some wonderful people. And one, you know, Alroy has never been to a soccer game, but he mm -hmm. tells his wife if he starts kicking the ball <laughs> around the house, <laughs> she can blame that on the kidney. And interestingly enough, the doctors told him to name the kidney. It's kind of have a personal attachment. Fittingly, he's calling it Tyler. The story is really remarkable. And how, how common is it generally across the board for uh, organ recipients to meet the donor family. Yeah, it's not very common at all. And if it does happen, you go through this outside agency and it can take months, years. So a case like this is very unusual. All right, really fantastic story. Thank you very much, Nate Eaton, for sharing that. Tell your friends. We'll keep an eye on uh, both families involved in this one. Definitely. Thank you.